Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Soumya. In this video, we are going to solve important and previously asked puzzle based questions in Infosys exam. So make sure to watch the complete video. Also do subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Do share this video with your friends who are having Infosys exam in upcoming days. This video is going to be very very helpful for them. Also guys, don't forget to join our telegram channel. The link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself. Let's start with the video now. So here's our first question. Basically the question says determine the missing value in second table. Consider that second table follows the same trend as first table does. Right. So basically this is our first table. And this is our second table. And here's the missing value. So we have to determine what should be the value here. So in these sort of questions guys, sometimes there is no proper technique or something I should say. It totally depends on the practice. The more you will practice, the more you will be able to solve the questions. Right? There is no such theoretical concept that you have to follow or nothing like that. So practice the questions. Uh, this is what I will see. So here if you will notice, what is the trend that first table is following? So 2 plus 2 plus 3 is going to give us 7 right and next 2 plus 7 plus 2 is going to give us 11 right then 3 plus 8 plus 2 is going to give us 30 now if we, if you will see them carefully so they are prime numbers right and prime numbers in a sequence so this is the trend that first table is following Let's see the same for second table also. So 10 plus 11 plus 8, it is going to give us 29, right? Then 12 plus 10 plus 9 is going to give us 37. What is the next prime number guys? 29, 31, then we have 37. So 22 plus 5 is going to give us 27. What should be the number here? To get 37, it is going to be 10, right? So the correct answer of this question is going to be 10. Uh, you can verify from here also. 37 minus 27, that is 10, right? So this is the answer for this question. Let's see the next question now. Select the missing number from the given responses. So here is a table. So this must be following some sequence or uh, some kind of pattern. Right, so you have to determine that what should be the missing number here. Right, if seen carefully, see this one is pretty easy guys. What is happening? 18 into 5 is going to give us 19. See, 18 into 5 is going to give us 19. 13 into 11 is going to give us 143. So what should be the number here? 7 into 5, that is 35. So option D is correct. Let's see the next question. Guys, don't forget to subscribe this channel and join our telegram channel also. Select the missing number from the given responses. First, we have to identify the hidden pattern in these boxes. Right? So if you will see it carefully. So what you can notice that here we have. So here we have 9 into 5 is going to give us. 45 and 45 divided by 3 is going to give us 50. It means this number. Here also 12 into 7 that is 84 divided by 4 is going to give us 21 that is this number. So the same pattern will be followed for this one also. So 12 into 16 divided by 2. 2 8 just 16. And 12 into 8 is going to give us 96. So the correct answer for this question is going to be option C. Let's see the next question now. Okay, select the... So here also we have to determine the missing number. So first we have to identify the pattern. So what is happening here? 9 is T square. 64 is 4 cube. 16 is 
4 is square and 27 is 3 cube. Right? Here if you will see 4 is 2 ka square. 1, 7, 2, 8 is 12 ka cube. This one we have to determine. And this is 2 ka cube. Next here, this is 25 is 5 ka square, 216 is 6 ka cube, 36 is 6 ka square and this is 5 ka cube. So basically the pattern is kind of x square y cube and then y square x cube, right? So here 2 square is there. Next here what we will have? 2 square, then this is 2 cube. This is 12 cube. So here it is going to be 12 by square. So what is 12 by square? It is 144. Right? So the correct answer is going to be option B. C. The questions are pretty easy. Just you have to be aware of these sort of things. And you will be able to identify the patterns. You will be able to solve them out only after practice. So make sure to practice these sort of questions as much as possible. Let's see the next question. Select, okay, so here also select the missing number from the given responses. So, let's find out the pattern here. So, what is actually happening? If you will see it carefully, 9 minus 4 is going to give us 5. And 7 plus 6 is going to give us 13. And if you will multiply both of them, it is going to give us 65. That is this middle number. Here also 15 minus 5 is going to give us 10. 12, okay it is 2. 2 plus 6 is going to give us 8. And 10 into 8 we have 80. So this is the pattern, right? So same will be followed here also for this one also, right? So 30 minus 12 is 2. And 16 plus 8 is 24. So the middle number is going to be 24 into 2 that is 48. So the correct answer is option A. Right. I hope you understood the question. Do subscribe this channel guys. Okay. So what is the pattern for this one? So this is a homework for all of you. Just solve the question and comment your answer. Right. And after this, I will let you know what is the correct answer for this question. So make sure to solve. Let's see the next question here. So that is, see, whenever you will see some, this sort of question that is 49, 81, you can easily identify that this is 7 chi square, that is 9 chi square, that is 4 chi square, that is some pattern is here. So clearly write it as this is 7 square, this is 9 square. This is 13 square, 12 square, 484 is the square of 22. Make sure that you are aware of the squares and cubes. You should be uh, aware of them. Uh, suppose if you don't know the square of 22. So you will take time. And in the exam, in the competitive exam, it is very, very important to reduce your time, to save your time. So make sure that you uh, memorize all these squares and all. So for 625, we have 25 per square, right? So that is the thing. So what is actually happening here? Can you see the pattern? 9 plus 7 is going to give us 16. 13 plus 12 is going to give us 25, right? And 22, similarly 22 plus 25 is going to give us 47, right? So that is the thing. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is going to be option number B, that is 47. I hope you understood all the questions. This question is for homework, right? So make sure, try to solve the question, comment your answer and then I will share the approach also. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.